So traders, yesterday I did my last warning video for the stock market. We're getting the drop right now and this is exactly what I've been talking about. But there's something else that's just about to happen to the markets that I'm also seeing that I think it's going to really shock a lot of people and surprise a lot of people at the same time. So I really want to share with you what that is. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, let's get straight into it. Guys, make sure you grab that free trading course, link in the description. You can see all the details there. Go get it, link in the description. So let's actually look at the actual good old stocky market. So yesterday I titled my video, last warning, last warning, last warning before the market actually starts it's moving down. <sighs> Mr. Pickle, where are you? Uh, Mr. Pickle, where's that, where's that risk-free zero Dow Jones, Mr. Pickle? Mr. Pickle! <laughs> I, you know, some of you guys are awesome in the chat box, eh? You bring up Mr. Pickle again. Leave Mr. Pickle alone, right? It's not his fault, he's probably still long, hoping it's gonna go to 40,000. Uh, by the way, guys, long-term, the next 20 years, we're probably gonna see 100,000 Dow. You do realize that, right? So what I'm talking about here is the short term. But you do realize we're probably going to see a lot, 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 lot higher, a lot higher Dow uh, and S&P 500 a lot higher the next 20, 30 years, right? This is just, this this whole thing we're going through right now is just a cycle. It's just a pullback. It's just a risk. It's just what we're going through. And then we're going to go through it again and blah, 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 you know, sort of then 2030, 2040. We're going to see a lot higher prices in the markets again, right? So uh, long term, guys, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Long term, we're probably going to see we're probably going to see the Dow Jones. Well, actually, oh yeah. We're, we're going to see the Dow Jones at, at, at 100,000. You probably you probably will, right? But it might, oh wow. might take, you know, 50 years to get there. <laughs> All right. So anyway, look at the Dow Jones. So yesterday I did my video and I've been talking about how the Dow Jones is looking weak, right? Looking really weak in the markets. And I'm expecting the market to start to come down. And now actually that's what we've been getting, right? So and I've been giving people warning signs not to go be not, not to be going long here. Well, actually, I can't tell you what to do. You can do whatever you want to do. And you probably do do what you want to do. And then you come to me crying because you need help. Um, <laughs> I actually got that email recently. It's like, oh, John, I didn't listen to you and I lost everything. How can you help me now? It's like, are you serious now? Are you serious? Like, how can I help you now? First, you go for a run, then do 20 push-ups and then come see me, all right? Um, so we have a move up and then now we're starting to slow, 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 slow and now we're coming down through here. So this is what I'm seeing right now when it comes to the Dow Jones, okay? What I'm seeing is I'm seeing that the Dow Jones is probably going to see a rollover from here into the move, into the downside. Uh, this is going to be the start of rollover or either they're going to do one last little push to the upside, do something like this and then roll over. So, um, and the reason why they do that is, is, is this, is that if we get an up, if, say we get an up by tomorrow, the emotional people that if we get an up by tomorrow, the emotional people that trade this don't understand the overall patterns and pattern recognition. So they, they are gonna be, they're gonna be getting emotional and thinking the market's gonna keep going back up again, right? And then what the big boys are gonna do, they're gonna do something like this, right? And they're gonna do something like this, and then, and then we're probably going to start to see a bit of a free fall in the markets. So there's two things that I'm seeing right now when it comes to the Dow Jones, right? The first thing I'm looking for is I'm looking for either a free fall right now, which may or may not happen. I'm actually veering towards more section uh, scenario number two, which is probably an up bar tomorrow to shake all the weak hands out and then a drop coming from there as well too. S&P 500. We're looking at the S&P 500 and look at this here right now, right? Look at the S&P 500 is that we're still just starting to roll over. So I'm actually, I'm actually expecting to see a lot more downside to come. Again, I wouldn't be too surprised if they had like a little bit of an up, up bar tomorrow, but we have actually started to see the rollover, right? We've got up, remember the roller coaster pattern sideways and now we're probably going to see um, the bit, bit of a free form there, bit of a free form. And also... We got the breakout from there on the downside. Exactly what I've been saying for the last few weeks. I don't expect it to see to the upside. Um, and so we got the break to the downside. So that's actually the sign, guys. I say, listen, hey, uh, 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 down we go, right? The, the, it's on like Donkey Kong. And then same for the NASDAQ as well too. NASDAQ is rolling over. I talked about this as well, how the NASDAQ had a very strong up bar, but we had no follow through. That's a very weak sign. If the NASDAQ was gonna do something, it was then, 
right? And I guarantee you a lot of people are like, here we go. And then no, roll over. Like, no, right? Because the overall pattern is sideways. So we're probably likely to be getting something like this coming soon out of the NASDAQ as well too. Now, here's what I'm also seeing as well too. For the last few weeks or month, I've been saying we're getting ready for a rally in the mining sector. Okay, we're getting ready for a rally in the mining sector. And we got that, right? We got the rally that's gone from 22 up to 30. And we got the rally in the mining sector. Okay, so that's that's where we're at from there. Here's the thing, what I'm seeing from the mining sector. We're probably going to see an, an, a, a, a decent drop out of the market. I don't know how much, but we're probably likely to see a decent drop coming out of the GDX from here. Because um, we have come down and we come back up, and now we're starting to get this sort of weakening sort of pattern. So we're probably going to see a, a much more of a much more of a, a drop in the actual gold mining stocks, uh, and then obviously also the GDXJ as well too, right? The gold mining junior stocks will too. So as the stock market starts to pull back, I'm actually expecting to see the mining sector pull back with it as well too, um, and then from that, and then from that, we'll, we'll see what actually happens from here. So even if the market does go down like the GDXJ go down from here. Um, long term, I'm still very, very bullish in, in the mining sector. I just see that we're probably, we may even have a move down towards, like, I, I don't know I don't know how big the drop are gonna be, but my guess is that we'll probably at least come back down towards these levels down through here. And then it may find a bounce from there. We'll actually see what actually happens uh, from there, from that there. But when looking at the gold market, a lot of people are saying that, you know, uh, that, if the gold mining stocks go down and the market goes down, will that pull, will that pull the stock market down? Mm, maybe, maybe not. But just remember guys, what I'm doing right now is we need to take, we need to, what you're doing there is you're based on thinking, right? Thinking, 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 thinking. Well, if the stock market does this, then it's going to cause this to happen. Like, no, let's actually make, I'm, I'm seeing what, I'm doing my analysis on the Dow Jones, the S&P, the NASDAQ based on what they're doing. Then I went to the mining sector and I do analysis based on what they're doing. Then I'm gonna to go to gold and then I'm gonna to talk to you about based on what it's doing, right? So don't mix them up. You say, oh, well, because the stock market's probably gonna come down, I'm gonna short the gold market. No, don't be a moron when you do that, okay? Don't be a moron. Um, that's just completely wrong thinking. Wrong thinking. And it's and actually, it's the, it's the fastest way to put put that gravestone on, 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 your, on your account, okay? When we're looking at gold, gold itself is showing a lot more bullish patterns in the markets, right? So firstly, we had this false breakout, but we're starting to see a very strong upward movement from, from, from gold. So gold is gold may get pulled back with the stock market. It may, right? But that's a thinking, thinking, thinking. You can't go based on thinking. For so long, we're in this downward trend here, down, 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 down. Now gold is rallied up from here. And then now we're starting to get the moving average start to trend up as well too, as we were trending down. So what's happening right now is that we're getting to the point where gold is starting to change. And remember guys, remember, something that's really important that even though the stock market may go down, I'm actually expecting to see gold go up because it's a because that's what gold tends to do. Gold tends to go for really big moves before the actual crisis, uh, before the actual recession hits us um, from there, right? So I'm actually expecting to see gold to have a really good rise first. And, and, and I know that makes no sense because gold going up um, and the gold mining stocks going down. I, again, like gold mining stocks may go down for, for maybe for a week or two, but we may not go, we may not go down a lot. I actually don't, I don't expect, that there's not going to be a big crash out of the mining stocks. Um, but when it comes to the gold market, again, we're probably, we're probably, ch we're changing tune through here um, so there's actually a very, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of bullish, there's a lot of a bullish sort of scenario coming up around this level through here when it comes to the gold market from there. So don't compare, don't, don't say one market's doing this or this other market's going to do this. Don't do that because it's the wrong way to look at the markets. Do your analysis based on that individual market itself and then say, okay, then what's this market doing? And then, and then go from there.